Howdy guys, how's it going? So we got tier 85 staring us in the looking balls right now. It is the Ranger Elite Legendary Blueprint for our tried and true M16 uh, attack rifle. I still want to call it, I still want to just like refer to it as an assault rifle, but it's our attack rifle, our good three round burst. And uh, you know, all in all, this right here is not a very impressive looking blueprint and the fact that i mean it looks like a just like some kind of base camo the only really differentiating factor is the uh is like that black i'm pretty sure it's a black panther uh we got right there on our stock so you know i mean it, it, it's kind of underwhelming but once again you know if you're new to the game you just hopping in at season two and you hadn't had a chance to rock and roll with your m16 this will give you five pretty decent attachments i don't know what their deal with is in terms of throwing on the uh, the spotlight on like every legendary blueprint that we've had this here uh, here in season two because that's just one that i don't i'm just not a big fan of it but as you can see, we got the SOCOM Eliminator as our muzzle attachment. We got the Task Force 20.5 inch barrel, the S5 speed grip, and the speed tape on the handle. So we got good ADS time. The M16 is already an extremely flat shooting gun. I mean, all the TAC rifles, as you guys probably have already figured out, are just extremely, they're accurate. They're good. I mean, they can easily be played with all the way from close to extended ranges uh, once you kind of, you know, get some good muscle memory thumb control with them and kind of know... Uh, you know, like, once you just get the feel of them, because, like, up close, you can still easily beat people that are rocking subs with just one burst to the chest, uh, and then, you know, you could easily compete with people that are sniping and then rocking other weapons uh, all the way out into some really long-range uh, categories, especially if you throw on certain optics, but we got the iron sights. The iron sights on the M16 are very crispy. Uh, I really enjoy using them, and, you know, I mean, it's like, if you've been playing Call of Duty, the iron sights for the M16 has pretty much been the same since the beginning so look there we go guys that's what we got for a full class rundown of what we're going to be using in game perk wise where did it go where did it go i know i got it here somewhere boom there we go okay so i got the 1911s in the dually setup just so that you know that's a good close range backup because we only got the 30 round standard mag and it's not a fast mag option of any kind so you know, having a good secondary, if you are planning to use this blueprint just for fun or for, you know, your own purposes, would recommend having a good close range setup, whatever you're comfortable with. We got stem shot, frag, proximity, then we got that tack, mask, flag, jacket, scavenger, assassin, gun ho, and geos. So there we go, guys. So without further ado, let's take a hop into a match of a nuki town and see what we can do. And here we go, boys. So, and you know, also, I gotta say, a key factor of this weapon is having that flamingo charm on the left side. That gives it like 100 plus more damage, just in case you didn't know. By the way, I went yesterday, uh, I was gone all day. That's why I, didn't, I wasn't able to upload, but I, I caught this new hoodie while I was out. So that's, that's a positive, that's a plus. Uh, and and one of the, the new uh, some of my new uh, merch design that I, that I took and uh, put up uh, mine's supposed to be here sometime this coming week so I'll be sure to show you guys so uh, for those of you that hadn't ordered it, like that want to order that hadn't ordered anything else can see uh, what exactly that new design looks like in per well in on camera but you know a personal look at it now look if you guys haven't been able to tell I have not been allocating much oh my mental resources to, to how things are going right now and this M16 is just straight up smacking but I mean. Unless you're new to the game, you already know just how kind of OP the tack rifles are, like all in all. Oh, hello there, sir. Not to mention when you got the dually 1911s, you can just straight up, well, that was a bad time to try to say something about them, but I, I've, I've definitely outgunned a lot of people, like rocking shot. Where am I getting shot from now? Jesus Christ. Don't even, that, that was just poor accuracy on my part. But I've outshot a lot of people that's been running and gunning with like, uh, you know, shotguns, rather it be the spaz. The spaz is the harder one to beat. Normally, if you're running somebody like the higher 77, you can kind of, they'll, they'll hit you with that first shot, and then they have to take, you know, they have to put a new one in the chamber, and then in the time it takes them to do that, most of the time, uh, you know, you can just go ahead and bend them over with the 1911. That was a, just an immediately erasing of my noggin. So he's got the old QBZ, which is still one of my favorite assault rifles, bro. I don't know what it is about it. Uh, I don't know if it's just kind of, you know, a wee bit stronger on the on the damage side compared to some of the other ARs, or, but it just, I don't know, because I used to, I, I, I tried rocking with the XM4 again. Where did it go? God dang, I don't even know where my classes are. Yeah, the XM4, and it just doesn't seem to be hitting like it did when the game first came out. I don't know, uh, you know, like, and, and you don't really see anybody using it, which is kind of a shame, because... That was like one of the uh, one of the staple weapons, and you know, back in like Black Ops One, I, I really had hoped that it would kind of maintain a wee bit of dominance. Not that it's like a bad AR, 
Uh, but it's just so easy to get outgunned by a lot of the other weapons on here. So, like, depending on why you're, like, what your objective is whenever you're playing. Oh, my God, it's got an eyelash in my right eyeball. Oh, that's my good eye, too. There we go. I got it. Got a surgical precision, baby. <clears throat> there it is. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of hard to, to game whenever you just, when you're down to one eye. Like, my right eye is, like, 20, like, 20, 20 or whatever. And then my left eye is, like, 18, 20, so it's not bad, but, uh... It is, it is like noticeable if I just have like one eye open. You know what I mean? Like if I just if I just have to resort to my left eye, like it always sucks if I'm like I'm driving or something, and all of a sudden like a flipping gnat just decides to have sex with my right eye, and then I can't you know I can't flip and see, and then now I'm you know going 60 miles an hour down a road and just you know being like, well, I hope I don't hit a school bus full of kids. That's all I can, that's all I can hope for until I get this gnat out of my eyeball. Oh here we go. This is a horrible place to do this. Boom. Somebody come up these stairs, baby. There it is. There it is. Artillery strike on the home front. Oh, rep D. Look, that's the thing I don't like about not having, uh, you know, a higher capacity magazine. I'm going to throw that down there. How did... What? How did that guy just run by my trip mine? Okay, we got that. We got this airstrike thing coming in hot. Where'd that guy go? I know he's down here somewhere. Bro, are they just straight up dancing underneath me? Okay, there we go. Oh, my. Yes, sir. Call me Big Papa. Let's go. What? Dude, the fact that they're invincible right when they come out of spawn, that's that's cheap right there. That's cheap. I just hit them with three god dang grenade launcher dude jigs and they just still just come out smiling at me. But a four piece and a biscuit, I'll take it all day long. Twenty four and five man. This 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 blueprint's working out nice and dandy for us. But I mean like the ability to play mid mid map and like get those longer range kills with something this accurate and it hits this hard. I mean, it's just one of those things where, like, if you're okay playing a little bit slower, like, I mean, we're, we're by no means camping. We've been pushing up quite a bit, too, considering the gun that we're using. Uh, you can, I mean, you can really have some nice high kill games and, uh, you know, level things out. The tack rifles was one of the first groups of things that I got diamond, uh, and I kind of wish I'd saved them for last because they was really, fat, like, quick and easy to get diamond. Uh, so, you know... At the end, at the end of the DM Ultra journey, it you know it, it's not like it really matters. Like you got to do them all anyway, so it, there's no real benefit to uh, doing them in a certain order, other than maybe you know protecting your sanity a bit more. Because like by the time you grind it out and you get to like the last few, if you save like the most frustrating ones for the last few, then it can it, it can feel like more of a tedious uh, grind than otherwise. But uh, you know, if anything, you got to have more fun whenever you had least experience with the game, and uh, it gave you more time to fill out the maps and everything else. So you know, it's pros and cons on both sides. Normally, this thing has better penetration. I don't know what it is with the walls on here, especially since they don't have no like ammo variation, like FMJ or nothing already. That that's like a predetermined option. There we go. Yes, sir. So thirty and six, I'll take out all day, every day. So you know, no no problemo there. Ooh, but there you go, guys. That is the legendary blueprint for our good old M16 TAC rifle. Next up, we got the blueprint for the Pellington sniper rifle, and I'm really excited for that one. I'll stop me out and quite unlock. I'm like a tier and a half away, I think. But I'm looking, for, I'm looking forward to that one because it's going to be a really good um, class setup, or like a, a really good blueprint for quick scoping and stuff for the people that are interested in that. And considering it's, you know, probably a blueprint you can pick up in Warzone, I can see why that would suit a lot of people's fancy. So, uh, that's going to be the next little tidbit that we get into. So, look, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share your friends. Until the next one, adios.